this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea! Since last time, I, uh, healed up at the hospital there, so let's check out, or let's keep looking for Captain Gordon at Crosspoint. Hey, Harley. Hmm? Who's Harley? Hi, Mr. J! I am Laharl, not Harley! Oh, oh, uh, wrong Harley. You really don't have plans to invade the Earth? I just wanted to take over the Netherworld. Earth is that rotten planet where humans foolishly pollute their own environment, correct? Why would I be interested in that? Well, you pollute your own room. You may be right, but the Earth is still our home. I mean, just look at that gas. That's why Gordon and I risk our lives to protect it. I always believed that was the right thing to do. Even though we're destroying the very planet we're trying to save. I don't know what to believe in now. It doesn't seem like you're lying, Harley, but I don't want to think that my fellow Earthlings are lying to me either. Nah, they're lying their ass off. Listen to, uh, Thursday. What makes you think I'm not lying? I am a demon. I can tell by looking into your eyes. I believe you because your eyes are pure. Pure evil! I don't know if it's pure good or pure evil, though. <laughs> oh. Nonsense! I can show you some pure evil. That man's eyes, are they pure right now? It's not really a man. Well, either way, we have to find Gordon and uncover the truth, or else something terrible might happen. Not all boys will become men. At this rate, a war might erupt between the netherworld and the human world. No way, Flan. Now you're just talking crazy. We must prevent that! Huh? Why? It'd be fun! <laughs> Edna! Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. <sighs> What's with you serious types? Yeah, I mean, if we lose, we just turn into printies, that's all. We don't actually die. Okay, so, for this battle, we got these guys, and they got some pretty good resistance and... Uh, yeah, spells there, so we want to watch out for that. So, let's see. First things first. Let's, uh, try and use our abilities here. Stocking the enemies up just a little bit. That ought to be good enough. More than good enough. And then with Fawn, finish him. Now, you want to use your abilities in the first round, because we're not going to have them for very long. I'll explain why in just a moment. Let's see, get a little closer... Uh, oh, you're weak to ice. I don't even have to use all that uh, SP on that. Not that I really have to worry about uh, SP conservation, but, well, you take what you can get. Hmm. Can you get all the way over there? Yes, you can! Feel my wrath! Fight the dust! I like the, uh... Freezing, rotating, bullet time, whatever you call that, I don't know. But it's a nice effect there. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to have someone next to your ninja lift him up and throw him. You want to get all the way to the back here. And if you've got three pairs of shoes on your ninja, you can make it. we got this silence geo symbol. We're fighting a whole bunch of mages. So, the logical thing to do... Actually, let's just leave it right here. Throw it right on there, that way none of the mages can really do a whole lot to you. Oh, they'll try and ambush my ninja there, but he's not really going to be able to do a whole lot of that. And my ninja will be able to counterattack all these losers because they can only use their physical attacks. Ha! And I can pretty much dodge everything that they do, too. <laughs> Uh, it's a one shot. Oh, you already got him. Oh, you didn't one shot him. What's wrong with you? Or wait a minute. What's wrong with you? There we go. Took me a little while to get my voice that high again. Um, okay, so you want you to go there. Why don't you uh, stab the guy in the back? That'll help him die. And Flan, I just want to stay in the back there. As a matter of fact, 
Why don't you go in there? I don't want you to die on me. Again. Okay, now let's lift that guy. Throw him outside there. And that way I can step on this one and use my abilities from there. Not to mention, they can't use their abilities from there. And only one guy can hit me at a time, also. Oh! I probably can't use my abilities now, can I? Because all my abilities require me to be able to... Uh something in front or in back of myself. Whoops. Well, let's see what I can do. Uh, maybe King of Beasts can work? Hey, hey all right! <laughs> so yeah, take advantage of that Silence Geo symbol. This battle, relatively easy. If you don't, it's going to be a lot harder. Uh, oh, right. Hmm. Okay, well, let's take out the weak one, then. We almost got them. Let's see, just be careful. Yeah. Try to keep your distance. Oh, I forgot about Lahara. Whoops. That's, please don't kill anyone because of my mistake again. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on! I wanted you to go like <laughs> die. Oh well. You can't get everything you want. Not all at once. My mom always used to tell me. But I have everything I want. So, that doesn't exactly make sense. And, let's see. One more to do. Do we have any experience bonus? No, we do not. Okay. Then, I'm not really worried about that. Just getting barely in range. And, got him! Oh, that was easy. Okay, so, before moving on to the final battle of the episode, yeah, there's only, there's five battles in, uh, this chapter. Uh, well, let's see if I get any more hospital rewards. Probably not. No, no, okay. So now what I want to do is I want to get everyone up to level 38. Although, really, you only need to get up to level 37 for the Bushi and the Elite Ninja, because then it'll... Well, as you can see, they've got more than enough mana to do the transmigration that I want to do. Uh, I want to transmigrate them into their fourth tier class, just like I did with my ranger over there into the strider. So basically the exact same thing, except I'm going to dump all my uh, uh, bonus points into their attack stats. And then get everyone up to level... Uh, what did I say? Yeah, level 38. Uh, I would recommend doing the level grinding after, but obviously you get, want to retake the promotion exams after transmigrating. These will be the last transmigrations for the main storyline, just so you know. But yeah, I would recommend leveling up at uh, the first battle in Chapter 9, 9-1. Uh, or if you're, you don't have any 3x3 three three attacks, then you'll probably still want to use 6-4. Uh, Oh, wait, I do want to go in there. I want to, uh, well, at least, uh, show, get the storyline started here. Beep, beep, bleep, beep. Life signs detected. Analyzing. It is Captain Gordon. Hey, hey! Uh, is he around? Gordon's nearby? Gordon! Gordon! Where are you? <laughs> a familiar voice. Is that you, Jennifer? You must have been through hell. But have no fear, Captain Gordon is here. Oh, wow, you got here fast. Just like the Flash. Flash Gordon. That's the hero? He's so cool. With his space suit. Juan, you got a wide strike zone. Just a bit outside. I've been waiting to say that line for years in my LPs. Gordon! Are you alright, Jennifer? Hmm? Who are these children? Oh, I found them around here. Uh, just found them on the street. It's a fancy How orphanage. How dare you call me a child? I am the Overlord! You are a child. You? The Overlord? <laughs> Quit joking around. Shove a lightning bolt up your ass. You haven't even gone through puberty. Oh, 
Hey, Literally. no fair! A cowardly trick, Overlord! <laughs> it's about time you came to your senses! I, Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth, shall put an end to your evil ambition of invading Earth! Why do you have a jetpack on, anyway? Please wait! I thought jetpacks didn't work in normal gravity environments. Shut up, villainous! Villainous? Lahal, this rude stranger isn't a hero, nor is he defender of anything! Yeah, he's attacking us. Let's kick his sorry butt! Oh, wow. Well, that didn't take long. <laughs> We're in agreement this time, Flan. Listen, Defender of Earth. If you can defeat me, I promise not to invade your planet. Not that I was going to anyway. But if I win, then you agree to stay here in the Netherworld and become my vassal. How about it? Fine. A hero never backs down from a fight. Okay, uh, six on one. That sounds Gordon, pretty easy. Listen. No need to worry, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. I eat guys like him for breakfast. Thursday and I can handle this by ourselves. Uh, Thursday's kind of on our All side. All you have to do is believe in Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. You're a cheerleader. Like always. What do you think we keep you around for? Ah! <laughs> it's a deal then. Here I come, Defender of Earth. We don't keep you around for your brains. Come on, Overlord. I'll protect the Earth. Can we at defeat any Captain price? Gordon and Thursday, Thursday by themselves? Me up. Find out next time on the Chapter 9 finale me, of Let's me, Play This Guy. Mission. This is HG signing off. Have a good day.